What to Play presents the top 25 Xbox One games of all time, arranged by play scores. The play score is an average of gamer and critic ratings. For more of these lists, you can check out our website at whattoplay.com, link in the description below. Number 25, F1 2019. Right before the imminent arrival of their upcoming installment, Codemasters clearly retains the quality of the series with their last entry still rising up the all-time charts. With improved handling and physics, new cars, plus a dynamic day and night cycle, F1 2019 is the best Formula 1 experience yet, receiving a play score of 8.61. Number 24, Dragon Age Inquisition. Some things just last and that goes for this entry to Bioware's Dragon Age Saga. Though it's known to have more than a bit of a filler content and MMO grinding, purchase is worth it if only to experience its open world of epic hero journeys and intriguing companions. Even for a game that's more than 5 years old, the visuals still feel spectacular to this day. It has a play score of 8.61. Number 23, Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Still on the same numbers, after 6 long years, the Shovel Knight saga is finally completed and people who've supported Yacht Club games since the beginning are awarded with a literal treasure trove of unique adventures and an all-new game mode. For its many fans and longtime backers, this will be an 8-bit platformer at its most complete, and it doesn't take much to know that it's worth every last penny. It has a score of 8.61. Number 22, Life is Strange Before the Storm. Arcadia Bay wouldn't be the same without Chloe Price. Before she turned her hair blue, she was still the same stubborn girl that befriended Rachel Amber. This game takes us back before the storms of Chloe and Max's tragic relationship. It's not from the same studio, but it packs the heartfelt emotionality that we loved from the first game. It's only slightly ahead with a score of 8.62. Number 21, Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition. An early addition to the Diablo 3 title, Ultimate Evil Edition added some smooth frame rates and resolutions as well as the Reaper of Souls expansion's new character class and fifth act. It might not seem like much now, but in its time, it was just the revamp that the series needed. It may not include the Rise of the Necromancer content pack, but it's an investment you can always opt for. The appeal for multiplayer loot collection is as strong as ever, and with Diablo 4 still looming vaguely on the horizon, this could be a strong bet on the console. It has a play score of 8.63. Number 20, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. In the latest installment of the massively popular FPS franchise, Infinity Ward takes us back to the roots of the series with a reboot of their Modern Warfare subseries. The reception may have been mixed before release, but it proved itself worthy of the name, gaining praise for gameplay, story, graphics, and their multiplayer modes. Now a record-breaking series title, it's well loved in the Xbox One 2 with a score of 8.65. Number 19, Cuphead. The scourge on casual gamers and gamer journalists alike, but the appeal of Studio MDHR's platformer begins even before you even start playing. Inspired by sometimes grim cartoons of the early 20th century, Cuphead is pure joy to witness. It might be a little too hard for some casual players, but it's still fun to enjoy it as a co-op experience. Or, brutal but beautiful battle for those super marks. It has a play score of 8.65. Number 18, Fallout 4. Taking the cake for the exploration and combat, Fallout 4 had everything that made the Fallout series great and more. This time, in a radioactive Boston that enables you to build bases, hoard items, meet quirky characters, and make tough decisions. That, along with the scores of mods you can install and try out. There may have been plenty of issues, but it's nothing against all the things you can do to while the hours away. It receives a score of 8.66. Number 17, What Remains of Edith Finch. A puzzle game from Annapurna Interactive, powered by the Unreal Engine 4, it's a different level of immersion in this adventure fueled by haunting mystery. See through the eyes of Edith Finch as she goes to investigate the death of her family. More an exploration game than horror, it has been widely praised for its story, presentation, and gameplay. Learn each corner of the Finch estate and uncover her traumatizing history. It gets a score of 8.71. Number 16, Outer Wilds. No, it's not that Obsidian RPG. Still from Annapurna Interactive, this open-world action-adventure was developed by Mobius Digital. Despite not being a AAA game, it has all the energy and ingenuity that makes a top-tier title. Bound to relive the same 22 minutes, make subtle changes to the landscape and uncover each of the mysteries of an ancient race and the dying solar system. A next-level experience for a budget price and a score of 8.72. 
Number 15, Nier Automata Become as God's Edition. Yoko Taro's spin-off of the Dragon Guard series has you come for the intriguing robot main character and her hack and slash skills, but stay for the whole existential ride. Packed with a range of endings, Nier's is a story that has plenty of layers, and it's made all the more worthwhile in this Become as God's Edition that contains all of its major DLCs. A recent hack and slash favorite from Platinum, it's bound to be a mainstay on the console with a score of 8.73. Number 14, Okami HD. Seeing an old game with fresh eyes has its own perks. We saw it first on the PS2, and now it remains one of the most gorgeous games on Xbox One. Take Amaterasu's brush and weave through Japan's magical tainted lands once more. Presented in today's eye-popping HD visuals, there's obviously still a lot to love about this classic game with a score of 8.74. Number 13, Titanfall. If you want action that will last, that's what you can expect from Respawn's futuristic shooter. Released in 2016, you can get this game at a fraction of the price by now, and you'll be served with shooting, storylines, and movement that can live up even to this day's standards. Underrated seems to be what most people would call it. If you find this in your next bargain deal, you can almost be certain it's worth your time. It has a play score of 8.78. Number 12, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rebooting Lara Croft's adventures may have been a risk, but it all paid for Crystal Dynamics, and most especially in this exceptional sequel. Rise was a massive upgrade from the first game, not only did it have more versatile combat, its gunplay was also fantastic. Most of all, the cinematic punches of its story drive home the fact that Lara Croft is here in the modern age, and she's here to stay. It has a play score of 8.78. Number 11, Mortal Kombat 11. Netherrealm has culminated years of gory tradition into one ultimate Mortal Kombat fighting experience. Sure, it's still the campy and gratuitously gory game we always loved, but with the time travel twist of their storyline, we also get to witness the return of old characters as well as their new crop of fierce new fighters, all of them making use of bumped up features like repurposed x-rays, fatal blows, and so much more. With still more coming in new patches, it's an all-time hit with a score of 8.81. Number 10, Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. It's one thing to bring back classics in HD, it's another to completely revamp into something new but familiar. It's what Larian Studios is known for doing in their RPG series, and it continues to be a poster boy for that blend of modern and traditional. The sequel isn't the best avenue for newcomers to the series, but this definitive edition especially is a haven of new features, multiplayer, GM mode, fleshed out storylines, Round up the already excellent RPG experience. It has a play score of 8.82. Number 9, Gears 5. After a long wait, we finally got our hands on the latest installment of the Microsoft exclusive series. This entry saw them rebranding in more ways than one, not just in name, but also in its shift away from the War for Humanity and into the exploration of an open world that's bigger and unbelievably more gorgeous than ever before. It sets the standard for Microsoft's next-gen exclusives, and it receives a play score of 8.82. Number 8, Inside. A shining example of video game is art. Play Dead's next puzzle platformer has the same minimalist style, but this time dedicated to portraying an Orwellian dystopia. It perfectly captures a world of dread and hopelessness and tells the story of a boy who accidentally discovers all its dark secrets. Showing off a rich atmosphere and an intriguing storyline combined, Inside is something you'll remember long after you play it. A score of 8.84. Number 7, Ori and the Blind Forest. The sequel might be out, but while it was close, it's yet to hold a candle to the majesty of the original. Ori has been a remarkable presence on the Microsoft stage, impressing in terms of charming backdrops, challenging platforming, and emotional storytelling. Ori's enchanted decaying forest has become an icon, giving birth to a sequel that almost equals it and perhaps even more than that. Simple, but oh so memorable, it earns a score of 8.92. Number 6, Grand Theft Auto V. Without even the slightest hint of confirmation for a new entry, this fifth installment from 2014 continues to reign supreme. From one of the pioneers of the open world genre, Five almost feels like the height of perfection rolling three stories into one explosive criminal adventure. And even after the story, there's still hours of sociopathic fun to be had in their online mode. 
Going strong after so many years, it has a play score of 8.99. Number 5. Resident Evil 2 Capcom seems to have found the winning formula for the Resident Evil reboot series. While Resident Evil 3 may have been the balance of horror and adrenaline pumping action, this entry was a pure concoction of the survival horror they built their name on. With Leon and Claire's revamped gameplay and elevated storyline, Capcom impressed not just longtime fans but newcomers to the series too. It earns its score of 9.03. Number 4. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt It's been five years and it looks like we haven't seen the last of this final chapter to the bewitching Witcher saga. On top of the fantasy action of finding the Sword of Destiny, The Witcher 3 was just one breathtaking sight after the next. Even with Gwent already out on its own, its world of fictional medieval political conspiracies has so much to offer still. It has a score of 9.06. Number 3. Forza Motorsport 7 It has been a while since the last Motorsport title, and with the Series X out, it probably won't be long till then. Meanwhile, Motorsport 7 remains the go-to for a jaw-dropping racing experience on the Microsoft console. Aside from its 4K and HDR support, it also offers plenty on the content side with a palette of over 700 cars to drive over 30 different tracks. Already complete with the events, leagues, and auction houses, it only gets better, and it gets a score of 9.06. Number 2. Forza Horizon 4 Still under the same Forza banner, this is the latest intense offering of open-world racing, and it's showered with just the same quality and polish as all the rest. Right around their noticeably less grey British Isles, collect up to 450 powerful and luxurious cars and share the roads with other racers. Forza's always been about the wow factor, and you can have it here whichever road you take. A play score of 9.25. And the best game on the Xbox One so far is... Red Dead Redemption 2. It hasn't been long since RDR2 released, but the anticipation it built, and it's ultimately delivering everything it promised, makes it clear that the game will be a hell of a legacy, just like the first. A showcase of Rockstar's open-world capabilities in a Wild West setting, the sequel has everything from great characters, immersive music, and realistic graphics combined. It's practically a world inside a world, with a few enlightening historical field trips packed in too. Number 1, to nobody's surprise, it receives a play score of 9.37.